That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Sit. Hello, I'm Brantley McGuire, and this is Raider and Sassy McGuire. Raider is eight years old, and Sassy is only six, so she's, come here, girl. That's a girl. So she's a little bit younger than Raider, and both of these dogs I acquired when they were puppies. And most people try and treat puppies like they treat grown dogs, and that's not the way you need to treat puppies. Puppies, number one, need a lot more food than a grown dog does. Puppies need a special kind of food. So many times, if you have a grown dog at home, you think your puppy can eat the same kind of food that your grown dog can, and it's not true. Puppies have a greater nutritional requirement, so the best thing to do if you bring home a new puppy is to immediately go to the store and buy some sort of puppy food. This is especially formulated for the nutritional needs of puppies, and they need to continue eating puppy food until they're at least six months old. And when you're choosing food for your dog, you need to take into consideration whether your dog's going to grow up to be a big dog like these or a small dog like a poodle, because small dogs mature a lot earlier than big dogs do. Dogs like this stay adolescents until they're about 18 months old, and that means that you're still going to have chewed door jams, a few flowers are going to meet their waterloo, and things like that. So you've got to remember, when you get a puppy, he's not going to grow up as fast mentally as his body will. You might think he's full grown, but his mind still says, no, I'm an adolescent and I'm going to get away with chewing on things. And so you need to watch them, especially these big ones, since they stay adolescents. And you need to assign to your puppy, when he first comes home, his own play toys. If you give him toys that he can consider his own, he's going to leave daddy's shoes alone and mother's night coat alone and the children's toys, but if you don't teach him the difference between his toys and your toys, then we're going to have a few mishaps. Another thing you need to remember when you first bring a puppy home is this is the first time he's ever been away from his mother and his brothers and sisters, and he's very lost. He's only six weeks old, and it's like, mother's always been there to keep me warm, and I've had my brothers and sisters to play with, and all of a sudden here are these two-legged monsters hovering over me, and making all these weird sounds. So he's scared and bewildered. And you need to try and make him feel at home, and you need to give him a place to call his own. Sassy, you want to sit down? She doesn't want to. And you need to start deciding where your puppy's going to live. Is he going to live in the kitchen? Is he going to live outside? Is he going to live in a utility room? And then you make his bed there the very first night he comes home. Dogs are very territorial, and they're just like people. Everybody likes to have a room of their own or a place they can go to. Well, puppies are the same thing. They like to know that there's one particular place that they can call their own. So when you bring your puppy home, the first thing you need to do is decide where he's going to live and then put his bed in that place. 